I'm live. Good morning. How are we today? I guess we are not today. We have no people. There's no people. Wait, Grandy B's here. And Ray says, hey. Cinderu says, yo, good morning, Scott Madonna. Good morning. A little more, yeah. There you go. There you go. I got a little bit. Paper. Paper. Wildlife Unknown says, hello. Hello. How's everybody doing today? We have a Baldurman says, hello. Skittle Toucan says hello. Tiger says hello. Encore Voice is at 7 30 p.m. in India. Well, good evening. Good evening. Folk says hi. Rolioli says hello. Hello, Rolioli. Ali says hi. Steph Nerd says morning. Nixia says hey, howdy, hey. Are you feeling better? Zeroopolis says hello. Ruth says hey from India. Toast Soot says hello. Paulina says hi. Abby says hi. Ray says, hey, Scott and Nona, how are you? We are celebrating my dad's birthday with chicken pot pie. Oh, happy oh, birthday, Dad. Happy birthday to Dad. I like chicken pot pie. Sinner <laughs> says, oh, by the way, any tips on drawing caddos in watercolor? Mm, no, but everything for me is find good photo reference. <laughs> Nixie says, a little bit better if she's medicated. Okay, well that's, that's good. okay. We'll take medicated. And we have a Bethany and the ringers have been round. And Mohammed says hey Scott and Gastia says hi. And Hello. Says, hi. Good morning. Recently subscribed. Really enjoy your content. That's Jason. Thank you. Alyssa and Urshai says hi. Both of them. Fred says hi Scott. Sav say hi. Hello. Bill says hi. Fush says hello. Hmm. There's a little tongue sticking out emoji that says hi. Happy Doge says hi. Manton Brown says ho. Ashley says hi to both. How are you? We're good. Doing good, thank you. Nervic says hello from Nepal. Hello. Hello to the capital of the Red Pandas. Strawberry Dancing says hi from Saturn. How are you doing? Ciara says this is the first time live I can join because my school is fun on Halloween holidays. Oh. Wow, you have Halloween holidays at your school? That's cool. Um, Ethan says, OMG, hi. Hi. <laughs> JJ Draws says, hi. Hello. Carolyn Lane says, bye, I'm going to sleep. Have a great night's sleep. Hello from Iowa. That's Gracie. Hello from me and my dog, JJ, from our Pacific Northwest road trip. That's E.L. Oh. That's cute. Hello, thank you for doing care about. It's my country, and I know it's late, but hi. Oh, hello. What are you drawing? We're so, going to let you guys guess this morning. Well, actually, it's in the description. Oh. What is your favorite color? Payne's gray. <laughs> I love your art so much, and I aspire to do watercolor like you and it. That's Ava. Oh, that's nice. Practice, practice, practice. Less than three says, excited to see the process of sketching. Sleepy Bun says, so, greetings from Poland. <clears throat> Here is my, I forgot to start the recording of this. Um, sorry, this is the sound of the, not my chair because I'm standing. This is the sound of the little little arm to hold up the uh, camera. Um, okay. Ken Demonium says, it's only been like a minute. You already have 200 watchers. Back in my day, you only had about 50 per live. Right. We were talking about that the other day. The days of 17 people when we were live. All right. So I think. Merit says hi from the Netherlands. Kiss Lindsay says hello from Hungary. Hello. Um... O'Nelly would like to know um, if you can scan this before you paint it, Mr. Scott. Yes, I did that for the last two, so absolutely. 
Um, Marie Gutierrez says, hi Scott, can I get your permission to share a screenshot with credits of your Chadwick, Chadwick Boseman painting, first live watch or two? Oh, of course, you're welcome to. Ethan says October day seven. Yep. I love your drawings. I'm also drawing right now. That's oh, that's great. Camera. This is my first live and I love Octavius and Excited, excuse me, excited to see the process of sketching. That's less than three. All right, so we're gonna have a little tub of popcorn here. Surrey. Um, Suri Young, she's universe says, hello Scott, please make some more videos on gouache because I'm really struck with those. By the way, I've watched all of your videos at least 14 times. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You're cute. I will see what I could do. Hi from Jasena. Is this the last we'll see about Octavia? No, there's going to be eight. This one's number seven. Um... Bill Lobox says, can I copy your drawing on board? Please do. What movies is Octavia watching? All right, that's the fun one. Are you ready? We came up with some ideas. So someone had recommended Silence of the Clams. And then we have Nightmare on Eel Street. Um, now, it's either Hocus Octopus or Orcus Pocus. We haven't decided on that one. We've got Dawn of the Dolphin. We've got just Jaws because, you know, we've got Porpoise Geist. We've got Coral Ein. Um, the Lost Coys. Creature from the Black Lagoon. An American Whale Wolf in London. The Beluga Witch Project. The Texas Sawfish Massacre. Interview with a vampire squid, because there's actually something called a vampire squid. <laughs> Ghost oysters. Killer clownfish from outer space. And paranormal anemone. <laughs> so, all right. <laughs> we're open to more, but I'm going to have to make like DVDs all around. Okay. These are genius. Well, thank the mods. So, oh, we do have, um, we've got to add one more, which is. Can you tell we live in Zyber Post-its in this house? Say hi to Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Morning, the Jamie. bride of Franken Brian. Uh, Rubik wants to know if you have any plans on doing pencil shading or charcoal shading anytime soon. Uh, I did one. If you look up, there's a video on realism. If you want to look that up. Uh, we will not be live tomorrow, but we will be live Monday, which is Halloween. For the final October. I love watching your stream while chilling in bed eating snacks. Oh, thank you. Agnes says you are so good at drawing, but there's just too many O's. I wouldn't do it. Oh, justice. thank you. Um, Mayor says hello. Thank you for all your amazing content. It has really inspired me to do art regularly and improve. I'm gradually exploring many things in art, which is awesome. Oh, that's great. Frog says my self portraits look like Shrek, but you encourage me to keep trying and realize I look like Shrek. So <laughs> Um, Bethany Groom says, hi, I'm so inspired by you. I drew you, however, I might not be able to post it. Oh, uh, well, thank you. I am very flattered. Rosie is 11 and would like to know what gouache paints you would recommend because they are asking for them for their birthday. Well, the ones I use are a little bit expensive. They're uh, Windsor and Newton, but um, I did a video on trying out Mia Hemi gouache. And they were pretty good, and they were f fairly cheap. It was fifty dollars for a set of fifty of them, and um, I would say if you're on a budget, those are a pretty good one. Um, let's see, Richard's here and says, "Good morning, everyone." That's so cute. Dane says, "My day is a hundred times better when Scott posts." I'm trying to think of what else she could hold because she's still got extra arms. She's got popcorn. She's using two. Two of her tentacles or arms to cover, you know, and cover her eyes. She needs candy for me. It's movie time. Candy Popcorn too? And candy. Okay. 
and a soda, probably. That's movie time. Good morning, Scott. You're my inspiration. I've been painting since I was 11. Lily Check says good morning. Thank you. Also, I have good news. I made it into art school. I know an official graphic design student. That's wow. Cool. Congratulations. We've got Anonymous Shadows. This back from Ireland. It's very exciting. I want to go there. Ray asks, is Octavia easily scared, or is she the brave one watching a horror movie in the middle of the night? Uh, she's watching in the middle of the night, but she also loves a good scare. So she is scared. Okay, we need to come up with, oh, I guess she's going to be eating Swedish fish. That's that's just got to be what she's eating. How much did your travel bag kit cost? Because on eBay, they are expensive. I think it was a hundred and something dollars. They are expensive. Yeah, I got it, gosh, seven, eight years ago. Maya. Oh, thank you. They like Orcus Pocus and Coraline. Yellow Armadillo is making their first 3D model while watching this, and it's very difficult. Oh, yeah. 3D modeling is tough. See, I don't... I wanted the, the DVDs and stuff here, and she was going to have... Let's see. Oh, happy birthday, Zach. Hi, Zach. You have really pleasant handwriting. You think? Oh my gosh, it's there the worst. Oh my Thank God. you. Wow, I would take that if I was you because that's an high praise right there. Um, hey Scott, what do you think about oil pastels? Do you like using them or not? I tried them out and I didn't really love them, um, but I did get some more and I am going to try some more of them. <clears throat> Natalie wants to know what color pencils can I use? I see a lot of artists always making really smooth drawings with color pencils, but mine just kind of press into the paper and don't blend. Yeah, um, Prismacolors are the ones that really work good. And I, I'm told that there's others too, but those are the ones that I've used and I've used them professionally and they're really good. Uh, can you see those Artex ones? Artex ones know? were okay. Uh, it's the one I did the uh, Chadwick Boseman of. Mm -hmm. um, but I would just say that uh, Prismacolors are very expensive. You'll spend a lot of money. Mm -hmm. um, and watercolors are a lot cheaper, all things considered. Well, they like color pencils. Yeah, I know. And I'm, I'm just saying. Some people are on a budget. No, I get it. I'm glad you're telling them that it's expensive because I watched you pay for those all these years. And they yeah. are not cheap. Um... Stephanie would also like to see uh, anything chocolate and a tray of nachos. A tray of nachos. I'm, we're just saying. Scott, thoughts on cats? Uh, I think they're very pretty, but they're a little too temperamental for me. And your wife is allergic. Oh. Yeah. Newsflash. Um, make her hold a candy corn for fun. I love your art. You inspire me and my dad. Oh, thank you. Um, Ravenclaw says, hello. I'm so happy to be able to message on a live again. It's the only bad part about school is that I have to miss them. What's your favorite type of Halloween monster? I don't like Halloween monsters. I guess a vampire. Um, Nervix says, I really enjoyed animal crackers. Oh, thank you. That's cute. Good night from Ishan. Um, you're so funny. Um, art on a Friday. Good day, Sabas and Mods. That's Joy despite the journey. Hi, Joy. How are hey, you? Joy. How are you doing, friend? What advice do you have for people who don't know what to draw? Sometimes I sit there and I want to draw, but I don't know what to draw. And my brain imagination kind of turns off, so I need help. Um, I try not to draw out of my head, though you're currently watching me do that. Um, I, I think it's, it's good to learn to draw what you see. That's why I always try to go out and draw things. Um, I draw from photo reference, things like that. So that, that would be my recommendation. My recommendation is a red panda. It will always be a red panda. The answer to anything is a red panda. Because they're so cute. They're so funny. Okay, just, I'm scrolling back. I missed, I missed Nixie's comment. You're prilling me, Scott. Oh. Uh. 
Cute. <laughs> Don't get in trouble if you're watching this in Spanish class. I am not going to get in trouble for you. Animal Entity says, I've been watching but can't think of anything to type, so what's your favorite food? Uh, we'll say pizza. Um, Rochit says, hey, Scott, really love your drawings. I've been recommending. I got recommended your channel, and since then, I've been having a good time. Lots of love from India. Oh, thank you. Sawtooth Lee says, yay, Octavia. Oh, Erica's here. She says, good morning, dear friends. Big hugs all around. How you doing? Hey, Erica. You guys are so fun. Hi, Scott. Do you have any tips for proportions? I've seen your video about it, but I can't get a hold of the book. Oh, um... I mean, it, the, I'm sure you could find, if you can't afford the book, I mean, it's, it should be available anywhere, but if you can't afford the book, I'm sure we could find a scan of it. Um, there, uh, there is like PDFs of how to draw comics the Marvel way. I've seen them. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you want to leave a message, just tag me and I'll, I'll tag you with a link. but great that whenever you're live, I'm either drawing or studying. <laughs> <laughs> um, Moonwatcher Play says good morning from Canada. Good morning. Bald Boy says, I can't, hello, can't believe we're already at day seven. You've been really consistent, Scott. Thank you. Um, I'm reading the comments because poor Scott cannot read the comments and draw at the same time. So, hi. Good afternoon from Ireland. Good afternoon. I just want to say you can help me so much in my art and being confident in my abilities. Keep being awesome. Oh, thank you. All right, so we got... Adrian says the same thing. You've inspired them and really improved drawing because of you. Oh, it's great. Gabriel says, I'm 10 and I'm trying to get better at art. You go, Gabriel. You you can do it. We believe in you. Every day. Yeah. You inspired me to draw different animals around the world. That's Billy. I'm trying to, yeah. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm just trying to figure all this out, what I'm going to do, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, yeah, the, the colored pencils, I guess a couple of people have asked for colored pencils. They're not cheap, but if you go back to the video of the Artex colored pencils that Scott did, he reviewed those. You like those a little bit. Those are pretty good, but I mean, you're never going to get especially with colored pencils. Pencils are funky. Pencils are either super hard or they're like butter. They're, it's weird with colored pencils. Yeah, and really what you want with the colored pencils, you want you want good blending. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it, it, they, they, I like them soft. Okay, Ellie says, hi Scott, as a young aspiring artist, I tried the Mia Kimi, I don't know how to spell that, and I was looking for something a little more professional, but also not too cheap, any recommendations? I will always recommend the Windsor Newton. That's what I use. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to try the acrylic gouache, in which case I would go with the whole bean. Can you please try Faber-Castell's, the normal ones? Colored pencils? Yes. I'm using a Faber-Castell pencil pencil right now, but... Um, I have some colored pencils upstairs. They're... Um, Karan Dosh pencils, yeah, but they are ridiculous. They're not cheap. I mean, they came in a um, pencil box, from okay, CW pencil, and they were still in business. And I know they're not cheap. They're like twenty dollars for a thing of pencils. So, and it was only like ten pencils or something like that. Um, how do I deal with stress about college art? Well. I don't know how to how to tell you how to deal with stress, but just know from from my perspective, having been graduated from college for several decades, it, it's it's really neither here nor there. You're either going to pass or you're not going to pass. And then you're going to move on with your life. So do the best you can, and then you'll figure it out. It's 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 not. It will in no way affect your life, your art's going to be your art, you, your life's going to be your life, and worrying about it's not going to make a difference. What do you like to do other than sketching and painting? I like to play games. Video games. <clears throat> um, 
Um, can you do a live stream on how to do self portraits that don't look like Shrek? <laughs> <laughs> Make her hands hold all the movie DVDs. Um, this Red Skull Dragon says, Thanks for watching my video on my channel. You watched the portrait I drew. Oh, yeah. Thank you for doing that. That was great. Hi, Scott. I'm from India. Can you. Sorry, I was reading your comment and the whole thing just moved again and now I can't find your comment. I apologize. Um, whoever was from India, you were asking for something and I, the whole stream just moved. Um, ooh, this person's moving into their own apartment soon. Oh, congrats. I hope you know how to clean. Um, let's see. What is your favorite song? Uh, Future Love Paradise by Seal. God, I've heard that so much. I have to say that, Donna, you read, I'm working on my study guide for culinary school while I watch your live. There you go. Um, let's see. <laughs> oh, Illa says, Donna, I drew a red panda for you, but how will you see it? Um, tag me in the red panda. Or if you're on the Discord, post it in the Discord and tag me. I would love to see it. Can you give me a color, a good color? It goes good with light purple and painting a mirror. Paint's gray. <laughs> okay. Um, Kareem once says, hey, Scott, do you recommend a brand for drawing like affordable but good? A brand of what? Pencils, paints, paper? Um, there's a question of what happened to the left edge of the paper. Oh, that was from uh, the Ernie and Bert painting. It just, because, you know, these are just, they're not glued down. So sometimes if it goes down and I'm blow drying, it might kind of slip under, which is fine. I, when I scan it in, no one will notice. What's your favorite movie, honey? The Princess Bride. You guys can see this okay? Is it a little light? We can, it's very light, but because yeah. you're doing pencil, not inks. When you get to the inks, it'll be fine. Uh, what's your favorite and least favorite candy? Uh, my favorite candy is probably Atomic Fireballs or Gummy Coke Bottles. Um, my least favorite might be either Black Licorice or like something like Raisinets or something that oh, you, <laughs> you know, it's like, terrible. so. Okay, I'm going to agree with Scott on my least favorite, but my least favorite is Gummy Coke candy is anything chocolate. But I don't particularly like nuts, but I'm allergic to some nuts. But um, my You're absolute... in love with one nut, I can... <laughs> and his name is Scott. It was me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was funny. <laughs> but I'm um, We're here all week, guys. We're here all week. Um, <laughs> um, <clears throat> my all-time favorite was a Three Musketeers, but I can't eat them anymore because guess what? They have eggs in them, and I'm allergic to eggs. And if I eat them by the bag full, they give me migraine. So, there you go. I noticed we don't have any candy for a trick or treat. We don't. No one's going to come by. Nobody ever comes by. But no one I'll, loves us. I'll buy one bag of candy, but nobody ever comes by. So. I do have to buy something over to Lucy's, though. Mm. If you came out with a step by step watercolor process book, I would buy it. Oh, well, thank you. I've been binging all of your shorts this week because I have the week off. That's Maya. Jor Georgiana says, hi, Scott. I, I probably butchered that name. I'm so sorry. Um, I have been subscribed to you for one and a half years, and I heard that you were 53 years old. I really wasn't expecting that. I thought you were in your 30s. Oh, thank you. That is very nice. Hey, we've got a Marguerite from British Columbia. How are you, Marguerites? Are you excited for season four of Umbrella Academy? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where they're going to go with it. So we'll see. They would like to know what kind of paper you're using right now. I'm using the the same one I used for the Ernie and Bert, which is the, um, the Canson. Mm -hmm. Canson watercolor Canson paper. watercolor paper. So this is uh, my... Is it 300 uh, GSM? Yeah. Any, any watercolor paper you use should be at least 300 GPM. Well, I mean... It, I don't think that goes higher than 300 GPM, uh, but uh, GSM, sorry. And, um, but I would say uh, this is my middle of the grade. This is my, the one I use when I'm doing 
uh, commissions and stuff like this. Whenever I'm going to do something really fancy, then I break out the arches paper. But I definitely, yeah, you don't, that stuff's so expensive. You definitely don't do it, use it every day. Okay, I'm just going to throw a shout out to the mods today because I'm all over the place and they are answering the questions right and left. And so thank you guys for keeping this on the straight and narrow path because clearly Dawn does not to do that this morning. Um, they want to know what your next big idea for October is. Well, I've only got one more day and I haven't decided what it's going to be. Mm. Joy says it's been a fabulous journey teaching third grade math and science. Our school doesn't have an art program, so I've been giving mini lessons at recess. You go, Joy. Oh, that's awesome. great. Yep. Uh, day eight is Monday, guys. Monday is Halloween, and that will be day eight. Yes, we are in the States. Um, hey, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Um, let's see. Is the key to drawing taking your time? Because I try to draw slow, but I lose patience. I have more fun drawing fast, but my art comes out better when I draw slow. How do I have fun drawing slow? Um, I think um, drawing could be as fast as you want it to be, and and then you can slow down when you want to make something look nicer. So I draw fast. This took me maybe a minute to just kind of sketch out, and then I slow down and I do the nicer stuff. Like I'm slowing down with my inking and I'm thinking of things. But if you're if you have a short attention span, I do too. And so sometimes it's just a matter of finding music you like or or listening to an audiobook and taking your time. Um, okay. The Kluge says, hi, Scott, you should make, oh, and sent you a tip. Oh, you thank you. Octavia holding out the remote with one of her tentacles, clutching it in fear, getting ready to turn off the TV. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's a good one. Let's uh, see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I still have two more tentacles. So let's see here. Uh, uh, a remote. Um, we have a person who wants you to draw God. I don't know that we would attempt that. Yeah. That's a tough one. Yeah. Everyone has their own preconceived ideas. Yeah. I think I'm going to upgrade to Windsor Newton watercolor tubes. Do you think I can just buy three tubes of the primary colors for now? You could. I have my list is the, the colors that I use is in the um, art, uh, my art, you know, my art list, mm -hmm. art supplies list. Uh, what so if they started with the cup instead, if they're going to try Windsor Newton, that would give them a bunch of colors. Yeah, for $20, $25, you can get the Cotman set. Mm -hmm. Um, Amara says, Scott, you asked about digital art, and I think Procreate would be a good idea for you. I tried Procreate, but the pens that I bought didn't work for my iPad. So I've got to find a pen. Stefner thinks Octavia could be holding a blanket on the last tentacle so she can hide under it. But she's hiding under one. This is going to be a blanket right here. Oh, okay. That just looked like it was her. Yeah. Oh, we already got the blanket in there. Um, let's see. The, you guys are so funny. More than one person asked about the little splooch on the side of the paper, and that is from yesterday's or Wednesday's Burton Ernie painting. Yes. Because these papers are not glued down, they're loose sheets. So. Um, okay. How do you draw shapes, please teach. Um, I'm not really a teacher, but I will do my best. What kind of shapes? Zach says, I have never been able to catch your lives. Oh, well, welcome. Yes, we are doing one more October on Monday, and then we're done. So what I'm doing is I am changing the positions of the um the tentacles so you see how that one kind of went like this and i think that is a nicer shape it's got a nice flow to it and so that's what i'm doing same thing with this i'm going to have this one kind of come up 
Um, Dango says, Scott, you're the one who motivated me to try drawing human anatomy. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. I hope you're having fun with it. Jace, we have a video in the Art Hex playlist on drawing eyes. So check that out. That will definitely help you. And I don't like these lines here. I was trying to kind of separate the eyes, but now it makes her look angry, not scared. So Did I'm you angry, angry eyes. eyes. Yeah. And monkey chow with the monkey. Um, they would like to see Octavia doing Christmas stuff for Christmas. That would be fun. Your opinions on candy corn. I take it or leave it. Sometimes I can have like one or two of them. I'm like, oh, that's not so bad. But then after that, you're like, okay, I hate these. <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> Porky Koala. We have lots and lots of videos on watercolor. Check the Art Hacks playlist. That will give you a lot of different um, places to start there. Um, Nova 1000 says, Hey Scott, I love your videos. I'm an 11 year old kid. I'm throwing that in and you inspire me. Can you please give me some tips for painting with acrylic paint? Oh gosh. Acrylic oh, paints. Yeah. Not really my favorite thing, but I will be probably doing another video at some point. Cause some, some more companies sent me acrylic paint despite my objections. Um, yeah, they sent it anyway. <laughs> so I will try again. She's not wearing a plague mask. She's let him get to the line work. She's under a blanket. She's watching a scary movie. Um, Donna, this question is for you. Have you ever been to Turkey? If you didn't, do you want to visit Turkey one day? I have not been to Turkey. And yes, I do want to visit one day. Um, are there any cheap but good watercolor brand paper brands you recommend because I'm broke? Well, the the one I'm using right now is fairly cheap. You can probably get it for under $10. So uh, unless that's too expensive, in which case you just have to go shop for a good sale. But the Canson is still the one that I think is the best for, for a budget. Yep. Um, okay, Wolfie Colby says, yo, what up, Scott? Been following you for a long time. Love your stuff, man. Yo, thank you. Thank you. I caught an eye. Um, how long you've been drawing for? Uh, 40 years. Yeah. Or unless you're talking about this morning, which case about, um, I don't know what time is it? 35 minutes. 35 minutes. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite Marvel character? Well, it was always Spider-Man. What is your favorite art supply? <coughs> um, like if I only had like... One thing, it would probably just be like this um, black cherry colored pencil, which I can't find here. Of course, you can't find it now that you're looking yeah, for it. Yeah, this one. Um, I like to draw with that. Can you decrease the exposure in the video? Then it will be more easy to watch. I wish I could. Yeah, we can't. Is it still really, really oversaturated? It's getting better now with the, with the markers. Does that when help? You, when you do the. Just moving the light away? No. Not really. Okay. It's sorry about that. Hopefully, as he gets more into the line work, you'll be able to see a little better. Um, just starting the pen work. Oh, Mar's here. Hi, Mar. Um, <laughs> this person asks, "How do you draw?" <sighs> Very carefully. I love you, man. I feel my passion to do art again. I can't express the gratitude. I feel for you. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Drawing is fun, but I love sketching more. Two good ideas to bring to paper. So many things to learn and sketch. Oh. That's exciting, though. Um, if you could have any random skill, art or non-art, what would you choose? Nally would like to know. Hmm. I think I'd like to play a musical instrument. I'd like to drive an indie car really fast. 
<laughs> hey Scott, you inspired me to try coloring noses the same way you do since I really like your art style. Mine's a little more cartoon than realistic than yours. I'm not good at realistic drawing. Oh. <laughs> um, am I the only one who didn't know that it does lives? We've been posting our lives for a long time. Um, yeah, I'm sorry it's a little blown out, but. Yeah, I don't know why. What I don't know what today's why today's any different than any other day, but um, we had another person that sent a tip that I can't see now. Oh, here. I can I go to here and see it? Nope. Well, whoever you are, thank you. Yeah, sorry I missed that, guys. I missed that. Uh, do you have any tips on how to draw a realistic face? We have videos in the Art Hacks playlist. Yeah, there should be some. There's different things, like there's lips and there's eyes and there's ears and there's the whole thing. You'll be able to see all sorts of different um, things with that. Beth says the image is fine when the comic came in. It was just pencils. So. It, it should be better now. Uh, you have sturgeon things written on a post-it over here, by the way. Oh, yeah, instead of stranger things? Mm -hmm. Are you going to fix her eyes with blush? Yeah, probably. Handmade KS and JS says, hi, Scott, I'm a big fan. Hello. Um, Alma Lewis says, good morning, Scott and Donna. I'm glad to be on the stream. Olivia is so cute. Thank you. Oh, Georgina, you're very sweet. Thank you. It'd be amazing if we could get Octavia as a plushie. Oh. She could have hugged me with all of her eight arms. <laughs> Colin Ball loves your art. Thank you. you. suggested having a theme for sketchbooks. This is Corey Nash. Um, and it has helped them find their love for drawing again. I'm drawing daily for the first time in 20 years. Thank you. Oh, that's wonderful. That's great. Tell us what kind of themes you're doing in your sketchbooks. Now I'm curious. I want more detail. I want to Um... Let's see. I myself wanted to draw today, so your stream will be a great inspiration. Love your art so much. Wish I could draw like you. You totally can. Yes, Octavia has popcorn. There is a bucket over there on the side. Yes. Do you know your Myers Briggs type? I, I we did that once. I don't remember. Um. Where did you get the bag for your art supplies? I find that quite interesting. Oh, uh, eBay. Mm -hmm. We've had a lot of people ask about that and Scott bought it so long ago. There are Swiss medic bags out there that are still available. Um, they're very expensive, but um, I would also suggest looking at like an army surplus store for things like that. You'll probably be able to find there. And it doesn't have to be that specific type of bag. You can. Try a bunch of different things and see what you like. Just leave the tags on and then if you don't like them, you can return them. Um, hi, I love your content and I really like it. When you smile, greetings from Germany. Oh, thank you. Um, Rowena loves your inking. What movies are your favorite spooky movies? Oh. Um, yeah. Not sure, honestly. I don't like spooky movies. Yeah, like, we don't I really. We haven't watched um, a Charlie Brown, um, The Great. It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. <coughs> That's okay, about my speed. Cross these off as I use them. All right. So, come on. a random question. They're currently mm -hmm. drawing a camp side on eye color, blue or brown? Uh, go for brown. No one ever does brown eyes anymore. <clears throat> okay. She's keeps thinking of Olivia instead of Octavia. Yeah. I used your nose tip and it works really well. That's also, great. How do you master proportions? You don't. You get better at it, but you really don't master anything in art. What do you do when you feel uninspired? That's what I meant. Um, I made a video about it. Uh, look for the one on artist block. But essentially, I go to like art museums and I go and I, I look at other people's art. Okay. So we've got... Silence of the Clams. Um, you got them all over there. Right? Okay, here. I got it. Um, Handmade says, I get so inspired by you, Scott. You are the reason um, 
Art became my new and permanent hobby. Oh, thank you. Perfecto says, as a kid, what type of costumes did you buy new? Uh, which types of costumes did you wear, and what's your favorite? Spider Man. It was always Spider Man. I liked being a princess. Is she sitting on a bench or the couch? Couch. Oh, Kim Sheep uses brown eyes. There you go. She's watching a movie today. Um, Erie really loves your art. Could you please try charcoal drawing? Sure. Gemma says, hi from Latvia. What inspires you to draw? Um, His beautiful wife. Yes, she is my, my whole world. I'm your muse. Or I'm amusing. <laughs> Yes, I am here all week. Um, hi, Scott. I'm so happy I'm back because of traveling. I have not been doing art. Does that ever happen to you? Yeah, absolutely. I, I went 10 years without making any paintings. I was doing digital animation and whatnot, and I just... You were traveling. Should you bring a travel journal with you? Yeah. Um, Zach says, can you do more videos with the stone sketchbook? I've got an update on that one. We have some great information. I had a two hour long phone call with those people from Etched. Those people. And, no, I did. It was one of the founders of Etched. And I asked him all the questions that you guys asked about the paper and the recyclability and all of the things. So they have come up with a new paper that has a little bit of tooth to it. Now, keep in mind this paper is like smooth as a baby's bottom, okay? So a tooth to them might not be tooth to Scott's. But we're going to try it. They're sending us a new journal, and we're going to try it with the toothy paper. Do you want to go outside? All right, hold on, guys. Let me let my puppy outside before she has an aneurysm. What is outside that you want to go chase? Is it a squirrel? What is it? What is it? Is it a squirrel? Do I not go get it? Is it bad? Is it bad? Whoops. Sorry. Go get Mr. Squirrel. Go get it. Oh, Mr. Squirrel. I think there's a squirrel out there, guys. We've got to go get him. Hello from Indiana. Donna, what encouraged you to be Scott's model? My partner gets too embarrassed to pose, but it is a beautiful study. Oh, my God. He just asked really nicely, can you please pose for me? And yeah, she I did got, not enjoy it. When I got really annoyed, he'd be like, well, I'll just go hire somebody. And I'm like, oh, no, you will not. So oops, there you go. It's, you know, it's jealousy. Just, That's their motivation. It is my motivation, yeah. But it, you know, it's it's a lot of work, and it's you have to stand still for a really long time. And he used to take pictures of me, and he used to pose me in like four thousand positions, and it would always take like a really long time. So be a little gentle on the other end of it. I mean, just ask nicely and, and be gentle. That's my only comment. I thought she was not going to eat popcorn. She's going to eat popcorn shrimp. <laughs> You're terrible. Um, like 21 sent you a tip and says, because I love your art videos and personality. Oh, thank so you cute. very, very much. You're so cute. Um, someday, I wish I could be as good as you at art. That's oh, you so will be much better than practice. me. That's all you got to do. Um, let's see. Yeah. Um, I am working on drawing realistic drawings. I have the hands down really well, eyes and mouth too, but my question is how to draw heads. It's always so hard to get everything lined up. Um, well, I mean, as you're, I'm assuming you're looking at photo reference. So if you're having a hard time with that, try tracing it. Or you can try the grid method. Oh yeah, the grid method. Do you know who did the grid method the other day on TikTok? Cam Diaz home. Yes. Yeah. I was like, holy cow, he's doing the grid because that's what professionals do. But it was cool to see somebody as good as him. Yeah. Use the grid. You can drop pretty much anything out of his head. Exactly. Yeah, he's really good that way. But see, even professionals do that. Um, Drumstick says, hey, Scott, one of your videos explaining about foreshortening and recommending how to draw comics the Marvel way inspired me to buy it. And oh, it that's just great. as good as you said. I'm using it right now, actually. It is so good. Thank you. I'm so glad you like it. Um, 
What's your Hogwarts house? Um, I'd like to be a Hufflepuff, but unfortunately, I was a Gryffindor. Um, oh, Family Wolf says, I got a decent art bag at an army surplus store. So good idea there. That's great. Excellent. I love that. Thank you for sharing. That is great. See, as a collective whole, we are so much better together than we are apart. This is so good. Everybody can help everybody. Um, what is your favorite kind of music and favorite song? Um, favorite song is, um, hold on a second. My favorite song is Future Love Paradise by, Future Love Paradise by Seal. Um, it's going to be Christmas soon. So that's all we're going to be playing is Christmas music 24 seven. <laughs> I'm just saying. The Kluge sent you another one. It says the Krills have eyes frying Nemo and Nightmare on Kelp Street. Frying Nemo. <laughs> Nightmare on Kelp Street. Yeah, I have Nightmare on Eel Street, but Kelp Street might be better. I like Kelp Street. That's a good one. Yeah. And have Frying you, Nemo. Have you tried digital art? I want to try, but money. That's Vitriana. Vitriana. Okay, so what's that company that was only $10 and they were giving a free trial for their software? Oh, uh, well, just have them look at my digital. I think it's uh, Rebel okay. with two L's. So, right. So, Vitriana, go to the products that we've tried. Maybe one of the mods can put that in for Patreon and me. Post the um, link to the video with the that Scott tried the digital art. There's a company, and they um, their software was only ten dollars, but they were they're giving away. But there's free there's software. also companies that have free software too. You can yeah. And the the Wacom tablet that I bought was, I think, fifty dollars. Paper and then splash it on my drawing. It worked really well. It was a coffee tea splash art. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's cool. That sounds fun. Sounds like a waste of tea to me, but but hey, you do you. I prefer to drink my tea. My husband has refused to model for years. He also loves to tell me to stop staring at his face to figure out the lines I used to draw him. Oh, the arguments that come after twenty years together. This is very true. Yes, I feel every single sentence there. <laughs> oh, God. Alexis says, hey, Scott, I'm a young artist. Do you have any simple tips? Uh, hold on. I'm going to draw kelp. Um, simple tips. Draw what you see, not out of your head. What's Donna's favorite candy? M&M's at this point in my life. Oh, Nandini says, we're the best people ever. <laughs> You're so cute. And Crazy Ninja says, hello, Scott from Australia. Hello. Wow, while well, he's drawing stuff, team is answering questions. Yeah, we have the greatest mods on the planet. They are helping us to keep this reined in and answer all of your questions so we don't miss anything. I love drawing, but whenever I, I draw, I can't understand what I've drawn. Can you give me a smart tip? Love from India, that's Krish. Oh, gosh. What was the question again? I love drawing, but whenever I draw, I can't understand what I have drawn. Can you give me a smart tip? Oh, God. Draw from sight, not from your mind. That'll help. Here, hold on. How do you spell koi fish? K-O-I. I just want to make sure. Okay. Before I put it in ink. You guys have been asking and asking for Posca paint pens. I have been trying to get in touch with them and they will not um, reply back to me. They're mean. Um, so we will acquire some Posca paint pens. How often do you get art block? Because it happens to me all the time. Oh, it happens. Yeah, it definitely happens a lot. Um, I just, just the other day, I was like, I don't know what to make for a video. Sometimes it just hits you. Okay, so here's a good question. Have you ever worked in a place that wasn't related to art and really curious? Oh, yeah. Come on. Now you got to tell him where. Hold on. I'm trying to spell this. Frank and Brian. Um, he has done digital art on a Wacom tablet. We actually have it here. And you can see uh, the video under the reviews, products that he's tried. I couldn't fit the bride up, so I just wrote Frank and Brian. Um, I, yeah, I've worked at uh, department stores mostly, you know. You also glazed bathtubs for a while. Yeah, no one even knows what that is. 
Have you ever done any LGBTQ themed art? Oh, absolutely. Look at the, the hair, uh, the hair journal. Mm -hmm. uh, have you worked? Oh, I, I have a small question. Have you ever tried paint pens? I like using them to draw outlines and then work cartoony things. <laughs> paint pens? Mm -hmm. I have not used paint pens. We have some here. I've we got do. to try them. You need to try them. They're not pasta pens, but they are paint pens. Oh, no. Popcorn shrimp. I love it. Oh, and hiding her eyes. Hello, how are you? Is your tablet slanted? Does it have the advantages for posture? I like the idea of not hunching over so much. Uh, for for digital, mm -hmm. it's just a little tiny thing, and it's just flat. Could you make a video on the different brands of mutable erasers? Um, I could. I mean, they're they're just needed erasers. It's not like there's much difference. Some are harder, some are softer. But that's again could be just a uh, preference. a preference. Yeah. These are my favorite. Will you be selling the originals? If so, how much? I will. Um, I think they're usually we had them at what around two around one hundred fifty to two hundred around one hundred fifty to two hundred fifty, just depending on how big they are. And I don't know when Donna's going to put them up. They're not up yet. I was going to put them all up together the day after Halloween. Okay. Yes. Um, it's 1.50 a.m. in Australia. Holy cow, that's late. Um, Verona says, hello, how are you today? I'm doing good. How are you? Huge fan from India. Um, totally ain't watching during class. Don't get into trouble, NC. I'm not getting into trouble for you. <laughs> Which pen do you use for the outline? Uh, this is a zebra brush pen. Um, and I don't usually do lettering. Highlight my watercolor designs, especially the metallics for jewelry, then add details with inking or top if needed. Oh, that's great. Thoughts on hairy chests? Yeah, we love them. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that for Scott? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have much choice. Oh, have you visited an Arab country? Guys, it's so much easier to tell you yeah. where we've been than where we have We've only been to four yeah, countries, I, really. Yeah. We haven't been to um, the South Pacific. We haven't been to the Far East. We haven't been to the, um, anywhere in the Middle East. Donna. We, yeah. Oh, I have a dog wanting to come in. Hold on one second. What's your favorite art piece you've ever done? Probably the Animal Crackers movie poster. I'm trying to decide which one is going to be this one. Let me open that door. Hold on, guys, one more second. Will you be making more videos about digital art? Uh, yes, I will be. Um, no, we have never been to Turkey. Um, will we have Octavia prints or stickers? Yes, I think we will. Yeah, I wanted to do that. I definitely wanted to do that for sure. But hold on. Give me a second, guys. Honey, I'll be right back. What did you do? Okay, I'm crossing them off. And okay, so we got ghost oysters. You're not reading anything, are you? How can I? <laughs> Guys, this is what happens. This is oh, I'm close to black because it's cold. Outside. 
side. Try to keep the hobbit hole nice and toasty warm so we don't freeze. Uh, the last scary movie you guys watched. I don't even know. Yeah. I don't know. We're having a good morning. How are you, Megan? I'm trying to get better at drawing hair. Do you have any tips? There are videos. Yes, there are. On drawing hair. Are you planning on coming to India sometime soon? Um, we were supposed to. I was yeah, writing and directing a film in India, but it got canceled. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite season? I think spot fall, yeah. Um, what size zebra brush pen do you use? Oh, hold on a second. Um, this is a very small. Very small. How do you spell poltergeist? E I S T. Okay. Honey, how small is the pen? It's the very small version. Oh, the tiny one. Yeah. The smallest one. Um, what is your favorite YouTube short that you believe has been the most helpful? Uh, I like the my favorite one that I've done is the uh, my light my art is a mosaic. Oh, my favorite movie is the Pride and Prejudice. Um, the BBC version. Zach says, I watched Animal Crackers before I knew who you were on Netflix. Can you make an octopus kissing a caveman? We could do that. Okay, I've got all of them done. <laughs> okay, good. Now I can. Have you ever drawn anthropomorphic animals or furries? And if not, you could try that out. Oh, yeah, all the time. I, I, I literally made a movie with them. I've done comic books with them. Uh, tons of them. Google says, hi, Mr. Scott. Big fan of you. I'm a 15-year-old artist inspired by you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Lily says, a waterproof couch, a waterproof TV. Everything Octavia is using during this art is waterproof. <laughs> Indeed. Have you ever painted a Lego character? I don't think so, no. Um, our dog's name is Arwen. I couldn't even tell you what scary movie. Like I, I will be watching the um, Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Just finished a poison ivy piece in my sketchbook. I used markers, pencils, and paints. Oh, great! Oops. Yeah, we will. We're gonna have to work on the Octavia print, Octavia prints and stickers. We will get those um, up maybe next week. So you see, I accidentally went over the line there. So I will have to clean that up. Aziz speaks. Says, "What are your thoughts on those watercolor brushes that store water in the handle, so you don't need to dip the brush in a cup of water?" I, I see a lot of artists <clears throat> working with them and i think it's great i i've just never really gotten into them i used them for a little bit but um nothing yeah they, they just don't really work for me that much did you ever mess up an art by accident yeah i i just, I, I just <laughs> did yeah so <laughs> if you look i just accidentally went into his into her arm right there Okay, I think we're good. We oh, I did not do. Where he spills ink all over yeah. The hair journal piece. Oh, that one killed me. Um, we have never been to Turkey. Um, did you answer what your thoughts on the watercolor brushes that store water in the handle? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, I gotta do the. Can you make gaming videos. I, I don't think I'd be that interesting to watch. I don't really talk a lot while I'm playing video games. And I usually play games with my son. I'm I don't have that kind of personality that he really doesn't. You know, this I, is the most interaction you're gonna get out of him, guys. Yeah. I, I'm very shy and I and I really don't talk. And I definitely don't express all of my feelings as every little thing happens. I don't get upset if I get killed or if we lose a game. Jamie says, we should have worked together. I could have lettered for you. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie's lettering is a lot better than yours. Um, <clears throat> um, we got to remember. Um, also, once you're done with this, we need to... Scan it. Yes, please. I am looking for books to read. Can you recommend some books you like? Um, I, I'm not much of a reader, but Donna is. Aha. I now turned that into part of... Okay. 
So, mm. Lou Kumon, what kind of genres do you like to read? Do you like detective stories? Do you like romance? Do you like nonfiction, fiction? What do you like? Tell me what you like, and I will point you in the direction of some some books. It's not a scary movie, but The Godfather would be a cool movie name for your picture. Yeah. <laughs> what movie is Octavia watching? I don't know. What do you guys want her to be watching? Because obviously that's not going to be... I love that she's holding the remote and the blanket up. I just think it's so funny. <clears throat> Let's see. What languages can you speak? Oh, barely English. BBC Pride and Prejudice really is, isn't it? I know, it's my favorite. Um, let's see. Hi from Scotland, big fan. Hello. Artist. How are you doing? We're looking forward to coming to Scotland soon. Can't wait. How are you guys doing? What We're is, good, thank you for asking. What's your favorite October one that you've done? Uh, I think the one I'm going to keep is the very first one. I like them all, but I think the one I uh, like I'm not going to sell is going to be the first one. What's your favorite piece of art that's not yours? Oh, um, I think it might be that little painting by Scott Gustafson. I really like that one. Yeah. Everyone, this is amazing. Me, oh my God, I have that paint palette. <laughs> um, if you guys have any what are your favorite flowers mine's hyacinths um you know <clears throat> i would like to have a favorite flower but they make me sneeze so i don't really keep flowers around any tips for when the eraser can't pick up deep pencil lines i'm dying right now oh well oh um you can always paint over it uh but i have electric erasers that I have large Marge for those kind of situations. And if you haven't seen Marge Large, then look at the video on erasers that I have. Everybody's going to be sad when October is over. Uh, you guys are funny. You, you said that about the hair journal. You said yeah. that about 60 days of studying the masters. You said that about the 30 days of animals. <coughs> you guys are funny. Yes, we know Percy Jackson. We have a son who's read all those books over and over and over and over again. Hello from India. Hello. Let's see. Nightmare Before Christmas is what she's watching. <laughs> That's so funny. Maybe she's watching It. What was the most beautiful country you have been in? Oh, jeez. Um, I mean, we haven't been to many, but so far Venice has been... Pretty darn special. It was, yeah, it was pretty amazing. What's your favorite thing to draw? Hair. How did the film directing in India get canceled? <laughs> oh, companies run out of money all the time. <laughs> yeah. You Mismanagement so or get canceled, you guys. Your head yeah. Spin. It's just it's you can't, you can't, no. you can't, you know, help it. Companies. I mean, you, you're not in control of that stuff. That's why. You know, when we did our movie, um, we made sure we had all the money first before we did anything. Yeah. Favorite sea animal? Um, I don't know, dolphin? They all seem happy. Um, Hannah says, hi, I just want to thank you for sharing your art journey. Oh, my pleasure. We have not been to Ireland yet. I have not seen the Lizzie Bennet Diaries, but I have been prompted on numerous occasions to watch them because of Steph Nerd. So I need to do that. Um, the Googly Mix says, hi, Mr. Scott. I'm a 15-year-old artist from India. I'm your biggest fan. Thank you. It's very nice to meet you. Um, Ray says, by the way, speaking of LGBTQ, do you know this is Ace Asexual Awareness Week? I'm ace myself and had some purple candy in celebration. Oh, congratulations. Happy Ace Awareness Week. We did we did draw an ace in the hair uh, person, yeah, in Correct. the journal, in the hair journal. I think it was the last day. I think so too. I know it was towards the end of the of the sketches. Yeah. 
Would you like to visit the Czech Republic one day? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Isn't that where the Alphonse Mucha paintings are? I think so. I think so too. Um, what's your favorite, what was your favorite part about Italy? Um, every, every corner we would turn something, it would be something beautiful to look at, you yeah. know, it was really amazing. History. Yeah. Really was just, it was awesome. Um, yes, unfortunately, I do have my own channel. I do not post there like Scott posts here. We do not have a favorite horror movie. Who's your favorite character from Animal Crackers? Probably Bullet Man. I am making a paper dragon right now, and it's based off of Octavia. All right, I think I'm done. Honey, you ready to entertain? Oh, I'm entertaining? Okay. All right. Sure, I can entertain. Let me erase. What should I do? Should I draw something? I, I honestly don't know. Oh, get the... the... Uh, Art of Animal Crackers book and show them. Oh, yeah, let's look at the Art of Animal Crackers. Oh my god, honey, where would you? Oh, here it is. I'm like Jimmy Christmas. He's got like five million books down here. He's like, why would you throw an animal crackers book? Yeah, okay. Just tell me who that is. I'm a big fan of your artwork, and um, Oops. until now, they say hi. Oh, thank you. Hello. My favorite color is paint gray. I'm doing my art no more. That's so cute. Um, you got to give me a genre for the books that you're looking for. What kind of books do you like? There's a new book. Oh, The Waffle. Let's see. Not a dog. So thank you for spending your time for us. And they gave you a tip. Oh, thank you. And we got another one from... The waffle. To Thank do a you, cheap waffle. Challenge using cheap stuff. Oh yeah, we I have used some. I've Look got the, some. The products we've reviewed. And art hacks. There should be one where I just do. I just buy eight dollars worth of art materials. Okay, so you guys want a couple of you want book recommendations. So the stuff I've read recently. All right, well, come over here. I'm gonna come over there. Hold on. I'm gonna open up my Goodreads, and I'm gonna show you the stuff I've read recently. That way, um, read. Okay. So, am I on the screen with the book? Yeah. Okay. All right, so here's the Art of Animal Crackers, but let me show you what I've read recently. Okay. Um, book Lovers by Emily Henry. This was hysterical. A Lady's Guide to Etiquette and Murder. It's a Countess of Harley mystery novel, and it's set in the late 1800s, early 1900s. They, they take tea. They do a lot of other fun stuff. Um, if you could live anywhere, this is nonfiction. The surprising um, importance of place in a work from anywhere world. That's a good one. Um, Tranquility by Tuesday. I was touting the um, benefits of this. This is a great book um, scheduling wise and like for anybody, not just if you're a parent or anything. It's a great book. Um, let's see. Where was the one? I, oh, this was great. The Murder of Mr. Wickham. Um, that was really great. And then where did I read it? Um, Ah, this one, The Cartographers by Peng Shepard. I read that over the summer. This is a fantastic book. Mystery and a little bit of um, family drama and a um, couple of murders. And um, it's not graphic. Um, it's just a, it's a great, great story. It's like a deeply heavy mystery story. So anyways, that was really good. So those are my recommendations for books for the moment. Um, and here's the art of animal crackers. So, um, whoops, okay, this doesn't want to, I love it because on the inside we have the, um, these are actual, um, oh my God, storyboards. Thank you. There we go. And you probably can't see the whole, where am I going? I don't know how, I don't know how we're doing this, but here we go. Can you see, I don't know if anybody can even see these, but, um, this was, I love this book. This is a great book. Okay, hold on. They're all done already. Well, they asked me for book recommendations, so it's easier to just get the good read out and open it up. All right. Okay. Sorry, not sorry. Okay. Um, I'm wow, Mimi says hello from Kuwait. Hello. 
I'm switching to painting with watercolors on a canvas soon. Any advice? I've, I don't know if watercolors will work on a canvas. Yeah. Watercolors need to sink, need to soak into, into the paper. The paper. <clears throat> yeah. Sketchbook ideas similar to October, but for Christmas, maybe something with snowman or reindeer. We are going to talk Possibly. to Santa about doing something with him. Oh boy, how do you feel when you lose one of your journals? I have not lost one of my journals, but I am pretty paranoid about potentially losing them. So I scan them in before we go anywhere. Yep. He actually scanned in all of the artwork in his journal before he took it to Venice with us. In case he lost the journal, he would have the scans of the pages. So, yeah. Which is not, I mean, I totally get it. When you spend all the time doing that, you wouldn't want to lose them. Do you have any tips for when the pencil won't erase? I ruined three drawings due to the pencil ruining the color of it. Um, pencil ruining the color would mean you're uh, trying to erase colored pencils. And colored pencils don't erase all the way. You, that I mean, try an electric eraser. That's the best way to get to erase colored pencils is an electric eraser. Mm -hmm. That's my recommendation. Um, can't the movie directing be restarted? Well, yes. It wasn't our movie. But yeah, it wasn't our movie to do. Yeah, I mean, they so hired me to do it. Yeah. Then they ran out of money. And mm -hmm. so then you just move on. Yeah. So it, if it was our movie, yeah. But uh, it was a company in India that was... When, it you're, was, when you're getting paid to work on something, it's, you're, you're a work for hire. So you don't have any say on how everything works. You don't have any say on the budgets. You don't have any say on, on anything. You're just getting paid to work on it. So yeah. that, was the, that was the situation. Did you ever make a journal showcase video? And if you did, is it recent? I did one for last year. Mm -hmm. um, so if, if you look up, it, it's the 2000 and 2021 mm -hmm. video. And then I've only got one more page left of my 2022 um, so I'll post one on that as well. Mm -hmm. Emma says hello from the road. Hello, Emma on the road. Um, favorite, oh, we did that one already. Um, is YouTube what you will do for a living? Um, probably for a little yeah. bit, yeah. I mean, we, we enjoy doing it and. Yeah, we like being here with you guys. Too. Yeah. Um, who is your favorite artist, honey? I have very, I have a lot of them. So it's Drew Struzan, John Buscema, J.C. Leyendecker, uh, Alphonse Mucha. So many influences. Oh, Karen says, hello from the Bahamas. You gave my two boys, 9 and 11, inspiration and a better idea how to use different paints with the right paper. Oh, that's oh, great. That's so cute. I love it. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Stuffing and mashed potatoes. Um, turkey and rice. Um, does the popcorn shrimp just taste like shrimp or is it made of shrimp? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Where in Scotland are you coming to? I don't know yet. We don't know. We're still talking We're about it. We're researching it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we were wondering if there was a central place we could stay and then just take day trips. Yeah. Out from there. Um, please show them the most detailed drawing you have ever done. That would be the Animal Crackers movie poster, I think. Scott uses Windsor and Newton watercolors. Um, Draw with Tanish is doing a master study of your Saul Goodman drawing. It is amazing. Oh, that's great. Let's see. Is that the blanket she needed in part six? <laughs> yeah. Actually, it was a sweater, but yeah. <laughs> she probably she could have knit this. <laughs> what do you usually draw when you're bored? Um, whatever I see. So like it might be, you know, like a water fountain or what food we're eating or something like that. Um, I see you're using the etcher artificial brushes. Nice. Yeah. I love how creative you are with Octavia. She has been definitely been my favorite series by far. Oh, thank you. Um, Meeting a murder she wrote next book by oh there you go some Ricky Dandelions good to know um, 
I love Octavia. How about a turkey themed sketchbook for November? Yeah. What is your favorite sport to watch and what is your favorite team or player? Mine is football, not American football. And my favorite team is Willem Two from the Netherlands. Oh, cool. Uh, mine would be hockey. Do you like any older bands like the Beatles or the Rolling Stones? Uh, the Beatles over the Rolling Stones. Have you managed to make an octopus look like something from a museum? OMG. <laughs> Cal Penn says, I've worked so many things for you. Thanks for making my art as awesome as you. Oh, okay. my pleasure. Um, Scott would recommend the Canson um, sketch pad that he's using right now for watercolor. Sketchbook idea similar to October for Christmas. Oh. Your videos are making me want to paint oh. watercolor, but they prefer gouache. All right, blow dryer. Should I get a good pen or a good sketch pad first? Oh, um, depends. What kind of sketching? Are you going to be adding watercolor? Because if you're not adding watercolor, you don't really need a good sketch pad. If you're just inking, then you can just get a sketch pad. So I would say the pen, the pen is more important if that's all you're using. If you're using watercolors, then you want the paper is the most important. Diamond says, looking good. I'm starting to learn gouache, but I'm very, very bad. Any tips? Oh, uh, work from your mid-tones to your darks, and then come in with the the highlights last. Um, red pen says, when I have to paint something when I'm in school, I also use a blow dryer. Uh, um, L3AF1X says, hello from Britain. Hello. I've never been able to draw noses, but one day... The way you start faces just kind of click, and I was able to draw faces better just by watching your videos and oh. doodling in geometry class. Oh, that's Jasmine. great! That's oh, great. Don't get in trouble though for doodling in class. Have you seen the video on how to draw noses? Um, I don't think I have. Um, I thought watercolors should be placed from light to dark. Yes, but they were talking about gouache. Mm -hmm. Sir, watercolor ruins my line work. Please, any tips? Um. I'm assuming when you say runes, it means that it's bleeding, in which case maybe you're not using uh, waterproof ink. Mm -hmm. If that's not the case, let me know. Yeah. If your pen that you're using your line work for is not waterproof, you need a waterproof pen. Um, what do you, why do you think some people look down on fan art? Um, I don't know. I mean, pretty much everything I do is fan art. I'm always mm -hmm. drawing somebody else's things you know, from movies I like and whatnot. Um, I don't know. Um, yes, Octavia is watching a scary movie. I think I like the calming blow dryer noise. Um, what is going on? We are drawing Octavia. She is watching a scary movie. Yes. All of Scott's favorite materials are on the website. It's under his art supply list. Those are all of the things that he uses and loves. What's your favorite hockey team? Mine's the Penguins. Uh, Penguins is probably up there. Um, that's that's my son Brendan's favorite team. Um, I, t I tend to honestly just go with whoever we're living near. So right now it's the the Predators, not that I really follow them at all. We've been to a couple of their games. Um, the Okay, tell us the brushes you're recommending right now. 
paintbrushes because you're using the etcher brushes, but on the on your li list, you've got the travel brushes. Yeah, but we also have the etcher brushes there too. It depends on your budget. These are fifty dollars for a set of ten. So really, yeah. So they're five dollars each. The the other ones are fifteen dollars for a set of three. So they're still five dollars each, but. Yeah. If you can afford to, these are better brushes than the travel brushes. They're the same price per brush, but you're buying more brushes. What do you do whenever you're not painting? Um, I play video games. What art piece are you the most proud of? Probably the Animal Crackers movie poster. How do you know if the water in your brush is too much or too little for watercolor? Oh, you start to get a feel for it. And even when you do get a feel for it, and you've been painting every day for decades, you still have times where you're like, oh, that's too much, or oh, that's too little. But you learn to adjust it and fix it. What are you painting with right now? Uh, paint's gray. No, and watercolors? Or watercolors. Yes. Uh, what's your least favorite medium? Either oils or acrylics. Joe says, I mean this in the nicest way possible, and I'm sorry if this comes off as offensive, but is that actually all just your arm here, or are you just wearing a very strange long sleeve shirt? <laughs> yeah, that's all me. He's my fuzzy bear. Yeah. I have my own personal foggy bear. <laughs> What's your favorite ice cream? Chocolate. I no longer like ice cream. I will only eat gelato. Gelato. I will only eat gelato in Italy. Interesting. There you go. All right, blow dryer. Yes, we do. It's already 1030, huh? Jeez. Yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna have to finish this off on the side. Um yeah, the giveaway is on. Don't forget to enter. You can enter until midnight on Monday, midnight central time, which is our time on Monday. Um, the 30 no, we gave until Tuesday the first. That's right. Till the first. Sorry, Tuesday the November first. That's that'll be um the end. I see you're using the yeah, yeah, I did that one. Sorry. Um, had looked away for five seconds, and of course, drawing is already painted. I admire how fast you paint. OMG. Oh, thank you. How it's... much do you think brush quality matters when using watercolors? It, it matters um, moderately. Like, um, I was painting with the Crayola brush, which is horrible. Um, and, you know, because I, I ink everything, it didn't, didn't really matter that much. I didn't need that much. Uh, control with the paintbrush. So if you're inking your stuff like I do, you really don't need that much control, but having a paintbrush that can go to a point definitely helps. And you like having that. I do. Um, tell them your least favorite medium. Oil or acrylics. Um, there are a lot of places in Gretna, Scotland you can stay. I would love that. Um, I did this one. Okay. Um, Donna, what's your favorite dessert? And Scott, you can answer this too. Oh my God. Cake. Anything cake. Cake is my weakness. Either snickerdoodles or uh, oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Did you ever try encaustic painting? I don't think I've ever heard of that. What is your least favorite art style or material? Um, art style would probably be something like modern art or surreal, not surreal, um, abstract art. Um, what was the other one? Material? Mm -hmm. Probably be like on oils or acrylics. Um, if you don't have a waterproof pen, then how do you secure the line work from the watercolors? Um, I, if you don't have a waterproof pen, then just simply do your water colors first and then your pens on top of that. It's okay if people ask the question again sometimes. 
sometimes they don't hear the answer. That's okay. Um, right when the blow dryer started, a Spotify notification about my favorite music recommendations popped up. Uh, <laughs> this is my first time on a stream, and I'm kind of addicted. Well, welcome. Uh, welcome. welcome. Just joined. What do I miss? Uh, not much. Blow dryer. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was, I think it was all the little boxes and everything just took up a lot of time, but I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to finish it uh, during the live, but I will finish it and either post a video today or tomorrow of the finished piece. Does 190 GSM paper still good for watercolor? 190 GSM. That's not going to be. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, Trying to think of if I've used, I'm sure I have. I did a video. There's a video on watercolor paper, not the one from yesterday, but the actually one that's specifically, and you could see the difference. But uh, 190 GSM. I'm trying to get a feeling for how, what the what the weight of the. Hold on a second. I've got um, drawing paper. So this is just drawing paper that you, and this is 250 GSM, and I don't think this would hold up very well with might hold up pretty well with watercolor. So um, you might be able to try it. Just remember, it's if that's all you got, then just use it. Just don't get upset that it doesn't look like, say, the stuff that I'm doing. Because a lot of what I'm doing looks this way because of the the, the paper. It just it just is. The, 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 um... Okay, you are completely out of focus now. Okay. No. Lift up the art and see if I can get it back in focus. There you go. Put it down. Let me see. Nope, still out of focus. Okay. Then that is our cue to say goodbye. Yeah, okay, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Um, and let me just answer this one other question. Um, they can't find art supplies that you use there in India, and they're usually very expensive. And we understand that, and we are working on that. We are still working on um, finding art supplies for you there in India. So... Um, just hang in there with us. We're, we're trying. Don't leave us. You guys are so funny. We're, we'll be back on Monday. We'll be back on Monday for one more Halloween. October. Yep. We will be back for Halloween and um, one more October. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do from there. Yeah. So, and for everybody asking today, go to Scott's website and look at the art supply list. And you'll be able to find the colors and the papers and the pencils and everything there. And maybe take that with you when you go to your art supply store and you can look for things that would be similar. Okay. And we hope you have a great day. We'll see you. All right. Bye. Bye.